In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can actually open and close and hide the current form so that we can actually transition between multiple forms to create an easy menu system or multiple pages to our application. So let's get underway. So if you like more tutorials like this, subscribe to my channel and give this a like and place a comment below. So let's start with a new project file, then click on new and project. Now we're going to be working with Visual Basic, so make sure you've got Visual Basic selected and Windows Form Application. Down the bottom here, we're going to actually put in the multi-form as the project name, and we're just going to click on OK. Now the first thing we'd like to do is make this just a little bit bigger, and I'm going to open up our toolbox. So I'm going to click on that and pin this out. If you can't see your toolbox, click on View, and then head down and select Toolbox. Once you've got the toolbox open, we need the common ones. We're going to place a button out on the stage. And this is just going to have a name or what's written on it. And we'll just call it Form 2. You could call it whatever you would like. And down the bottom, we're going to use a Hungarian naming convention and call it BTN Form 2. Now, to know that we're going to leave Form 1 and go to Form 2, I'm just going to put a label on the screen up the top here and change its name to form one so we're just going to head up to where the text area is and change this to form one and then I'm just going to change the size of the, the label by clicking on the three dots and then changing that to something large like 28 and clicking OK. If you'd like to change the colour you can go through and change the text colour and select the down arrow and if you want to go to custom you can then pick out a colour that you'd want. So this is our form one. Now to add another form, we need to go up to project and then go add Windows form. So they're going to ask us what one we'd like form and it's going to be called form two VB and just click on add. So now we have form one and then form two. Form two is going to be a little bit smaller, but we're going to follow the same process. This is going to have text on it, which will be BTA or form one or go to form one, and then we'll give it a name down the bottom, BTN, BTN form 01. So that will take us back to form one. And I'll put a title on there once again, so I'll put a label on there, go up to its text, and just put, call this form two, change its text size, 28 click on OK so now we can clearly clearly see form 2 and what form 1 looks like so now we need to script our buttons so I'm going to come back to form 1 double click this button to take us into the programming area so what would we like to do well there's several things we can do we could actually close the form we're on but if we do that on the main form it actually closes your application but what we would like to do is actually show form 2 so in here, I'm going to go form two dot show bracket bracket. So what this will do is actually show form two. So let's run our program. Here is form one. When I click this button now, it shows us form two. But currently, this button doesn't do anything. So we'll just close these up. And let's go to form two and double click the button. Now what we'd like to do is go to form one. So we're just going to go form one dot show. So once again, if it's hidden, it'll actually show it. So when we run the program now, we go form two. And if we go here, we go form one. But you notice when I click on here, we don't actually go back here. Because this is already shown, but it's not in focus. It's actually behind it. So what we'd like to do with form two we want to actually close that form. So we can, before we go form one show, we could actually go ni, which means the form we're currently on, dot close. Bracket, bracket. So it's saying close me, which is form two, and then show form one. So let's have a look at this now. So let's run the program. Click on form two. Now when I go back, it should go me dot close, which means form two close and show one. And there we go, we're back here again. So that works really well. If we would like, we could actually hide them as well. So if I head back to form one, 
I could actually change this to go me.hide. Now, it doesn't close it, it just hides it behind. And when we run the program now, when I click on this button, this one, this form one should hide, then form two shows. When I click on this one, it hides and comes back or closes and comes back. So there you go, that's a simple tutorial on how to navigate through multiple forms. If you like more forms, all you have to do is go up to project and just add the forms and then you can show and hide the ones you want. Remember that you need to deal with the form that you're on, which is me.hide, that is the active one that you're on. And then you can actually transfer over to form two or form three, whatever form you'd like to go to or back to the main form. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. So give it a like, subscribe to my channel. Also have a look around my channel for other useful Visual Basic tutorials. And I wish you all the best with your coding.